Hi, I'm Tazza Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a sustainable upcycled lotion using some really cool and quirky ingredients that would normally get discarded during production that have now been repurposed. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so firstly I have my phase A ingredients here. I've just got some normal water. And now to this I'm gonna add some Pepo by Bioli. So this is actually an upcycled ingredient made from zucchini. So when we we're thinking of upcycled ingredients, it's actually things that are made from what would usually get discarded or thrown out during production. And then they've turned it into a raw material that we can now use. So it's been repurposed, which is really, really cool because I for one really hate waste. So finding another way to repurpose materials is fantastic. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this to my water and I'm just gonna give that a little stir. Now, next to build the structure of my lotion, I am gonna be making a slurry with my gums. So I've got some vegetable derived glycerin here. And to this, I'm gonna be adding some Cosphoderm X Soft. These are both natural, naturally derived materials. So they are sustainable. as they can be totally renewable. So you wanna make sure you have a nice smooth slurry, free of any lumps before adding it into your water phase. So you're just gonna really work that gum into the glycerin. There we go, and a little bit of a gel consistency has now formed. So I'm just gonna pop that one on heat. And while that's heating, I'm gonna put together my oil phase. Now in my bowl here, I have the Ecohance Care PS3 by Evanik. Now this is an oil and water emulsifier. It's 100% olive based and it's natural and it's made from residue. So it has an eco optimized carbon footprint and it has um, efficient stabilization properties. It's also Cosmos approved as well. Now to this, I'm gonna be adding some steric acid just for better stability and viscosity. This is naturally derived. Now I'm also gonna be adding some Lexafil Natural here. So this is a naturally derived light feeling ester. So this is 100% bio-based content and it's certified by the USDA Bio Preferred Program. It's also Cosmos approved as well. With the lotions, you do want them to be quite long spreading. So you do want to add some light long spreading esters to your formula to give that really good spread. Next, I'm going to be adding this amber orange from Bioli. This is also another upcycled ingredient from made from tomatoes. So that's going to give it a nice pale yellow orange color. I'm also going to be adding some avocado oil. This is perfect for dry skin. It's also a natural oil. so. It's based on plants, so it's totally renewable. Now I am gonna be adding an active in here today for some really good moisturizing benefits. So I have here the Silver Coffee Active by my bell so this is actually an upcycled ingredient it's based on upcycled coffee silver skins uh, to moisturize and comfort dry skin it also protects the epidermis from the internal and external stresses as well as the transepidermal uh, water loss so it provides a really good strong skin barrier and I'm just pulling up some efficacy data here just to show you the results. So there's a study here for uh, regeneration of sensitive skin after external irritation. So the volunteers were, there was 21 of them aged 18 to 63 and they're all female with sensitive skin. And they applied a cream containing 2% of the silver coffee. And they found that the trans epidermal water loss was reduced by 11%. 7.6% for the micro circulation and 19.4% for the redness. Um, and they also had 90.5% of the volunteers with sensitive skin report that the silver coffee reduced the skin redness, irritation, and 95.2% that the treatment was hydrating to the skin. So it left their skin a lot uh, nice and smooth. And then there was also another study here uh, for rehydration of dry legs. So again, 20 women aged between 31 and 66 with dry skin on their legs. They applied a cream containing the 2% silver coffee and it was assessed on day zero, 14 and 28. So big improvements there. 
So it looks like a low melting point butter. It's really nice and creamy. It feels actually beautiful on the skin when you just rub it into your hand. So I'm gonna put that in there. We'll need um, some heat to incorporate that into our formula. Okay, so once my water face is hot enough and my oil face has melted, we're gonna pour that into our water face. And just give that a stir using high shear and you'll see a nice white emulsion is starting to form now. Okay, once we've removed that from the heat, we're just gonna continue to stir it until it starts to cool down. It's not looking very viscous yet, but viscosity will improve overnight. And also once we adjust pH as well, it will start to thicken up a bit because of the steric acid. Okay, so once that's cooled down enough, I'm just gonna add my heat sensitive materials. So I have a little bit of essential oil here. Essentials are 100% renewable because they're plant-based. So quite sustainable. Uh, we've got some tocopherol here. This is naturally derived. And I've also got some Spectrostat G2 Natural. Okay, so now I'm just gonna check adjust my final pH. Now, as I said earlier, full viscosity is gonna be achieved overnight, so I'm just gonna cover that and leave that. And we'll come back tomorrow and assess the viscosity. Okay, and here is what my lotion is looking like the next day. As you can see, it has become quite viscous overnight. It's a nice, beautiful lotion viscosity. feels really nice and light on the skin. It's not heavy or greasy and it's very long spreading. So a little bit goes a long way. It also feels super nice and soft and buttery as well. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to make a sustainable upcycled lotion. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.